Welcome designers and divas to this tutorial. Diva designer in virtual apparel. See you on the runway. Runway. We now have a better way of organizing our files that follow just the regular folder system in your designs and even paint on fabrics that you've imported yourself. Conceptualize your designs and we'll get into that in a bit. We'll also get into the structure of pattern sets and how it relates to the studio and the new way of managing our patterns in folders. Well, the first thing you'll want to do is register, which is clicking on or double clicking this register v7i.exe program, which will register your designer studio onto your Windows PC. Now, I won't go into that because we have other videos that explain how to register your software. And what we're going to do, though, is because this one's already been installed, is we're going to double click on the runme.exe file here, which is the executable for your pattern server. So we'll double click on that, and it will load Diva 7 Studio, and then you can start taking a look at the new format, which includes Runway. So here we are now in Runway, which organizes your pattern files. So as you can see, there's a drop down here, and with that, you can load the different folders. And I have here a folder called Pattern Server Copy. Each time, each folder is both pattern files and all the support files that create your pattern folder. So it's it's the same as like the pattern envelope you get at the sewing store. I've re actually, I've loaded some other pattern folders and I'm gonna show that to you now. As you can see, I bet there's LP here, which is this stuffed animal here, sewing pattern and then petware, which I added. And the way it works is once you load a pattern folder that you created or that you've gotten through design and so or but I mean it's each one of these pattern folders of course is for a client or maybe it's you know, you're you're creating something for one of your pets so you would create a new folder and that's a very easy process which we'll go into in this tutorial in a bit. But the important thing you see in your runway is you actually keep all your pattern sets that you that you want, that you uh, that you have for your sewing projects that, that you decide you like to do, and or even new new patterns that you're creating for your textile products. So perhaps you're a producer of of apparel or patterns, and uh, you you create these pattern portfolios. Now what we'll do is we'll just okay. Now we're we're gonna select uh, Elfie here by clicking on his image, and that loads the uh, interface for the design design modules. So for example, we've got the plotter here that takes us back to runway. As you can see, we go back to one right here, and then we'll just reselect Elfie again, and we'll click on that pattern folio. Now we can manage our files here, which I'll just show you here. So there's the, mat the pattern manager, and then we can go back to runway, and we'll go back into Elfie again. We can go just to designso.com. We can go to the digitizer, which has all the patterns. Let's just take a look at that. So we just click OK, and that loads up all the patterns. Load a pattern here. And there's our pattern. Then we'll go back to here. Now we can plot it. We go to the plotter. And in the plotter, we can load and print the patterns. And then we got sketch here too, which I will show you next here. But we have to go into another pattern folio. So let's go back to runway. Click on that runway button. And in pattern server here, I want to show you. We'll go straight into the plotter here. I hope you're starting to follow along on how it's done. And we're going to select one of our design files. Let me try it, this one here. And then just by clicking this button here, it loads a fabric and a design that I have put together here. So now I'll explain how to use, which is how we can pay, create our own fashion sketches, then produce a, a finished drawing that we can then send to our team or our client. They want to talk about the fabrics here. So let's just open the fabric panel. Fabric folder in our Diva directory. Ye these are all just uh, JPEGs of uh, fabric that have been loaded into a folder. So you can just use your digital camera or, or you can use a, a image editing software like Photoshop and create your own patterns. A lot of people are printing their own fabrics now. And then just to go back and forth here, we just can preview all the different fabrics and you select one there and it loads here in the panel. 
and then uh, you just click on the on the item you want to change the fabric then you just click on the fabric and take a look at the what the different uh, types of fabrics might look on your model uh, for the design you're working on then you once you got it selected you can use this disc here you drag it around like that and i'll just bring it up here so you take a look at it and when you click the arrows it gives you a different silhouette for that the bodice part here and uh, let's say we want to like change the sleeves we would just click on the sleeves there and then we can look at the different styles of sleeves that are available within this set and then of course you can do the same thing and change the fabrics that you would like to have then of course you could preload your own fabrics and even this model in the background and well in this case this one is set with, with these silhouettes in it and, and some of the models are like that but other ones are just sketches like you can even put your own sketches and then just draw on top or you can bring in a picture of uh, of your client and then just compare the fabrics to your client's skin color is you want to get the fabric just right so you're a stylist working for them you can turn off the image and turn it back on again let's just change the skirt up a bit uh, something little yeah there we go and uh if you want to drag it around you just start here on the disc and then you can just sort of move around and release and then so this is this allows you to drag your model where you want on the screen but this one allows you to drag the disc around if you scroll over here so that's on off drag the disc around yeah that drags the model around and then this one these arrow buttons just go for the selection set of the style. It's just actually for this. We'll just click on this one, and we'll just uh, we'll give you an idea. Like we've got shorts here, capris, full length pants, uh, skinny type. Uh, uh, there would be your uh, yoga pant style, full skirt, long skirt, flare skirt, a gown, a short, a medium skirt, and that's the end of that selection set. And it goes all the way, I think, back to a bikini bottom. So. Uh, with the way these are set up, they kind of start with the minimum, and then as you go uh, through, you get more material. And same thing with the sleeves. Like, for example, the collar here, same thing, right? We'll just select collar, and it's kind of tiny, so you got to be really careful. And then we'll just uh, select a fabric for that, and then we'll just go through the uh, the different collars. Uh, let's just do something that's a little more yeah, easy, more bright to see. And there's a hoodie. And I believe that's the last one in that set. So these are the different uh, styles of collars that you might have in this particular pattern portfolio. And so uh, once you get a design you want, let's say you want to send it to your client. And in this case, uh, I've got it set up here to, uh, that, well, you know, what you can do here is you can save it, which you should probably do. So uh, let's just give it a new name because I want to keep this one originally here. So let's, two, let's just add a, a one to that. And then I hit save. And then that that will save this design. What we're going to do is we're just going to add a bit of text here. And uh, the way you drag the text is there's you just you move over here, and when you get the little finger thing, you just move it over here. Here is a design, and uh, we're going to keep it short here. So I'm going to copy that using this button here. For you. Ellen. Actually, let's, let's make it the full thing here. Okay, so here's a design for you, Ellen. Now we're going to email it to our client, or we're going to pretend to, and that's their email address. And then we just hit send. And now that design is going to the client, and if they like it, then and conceptualizing your design. So that one's sent. And we'll go into our email now. And in my inbox, well, it's not there yet. Let's just wait a second. There we go. So now uh, in here we got uh, our new design, and we'll click on this PDF file here. And uh, here's the outfit that we uh, designed using Diva Designer for our client. And that's how quick and easy it is to create a design and send it to your client. So thanks for viewing this tutorial. That pretty much covers all the new features. In the next tutorial, we're going to go into how to use the pen tools. So let's just click on that right here, get into that right away, because it's really actually quite easy. All you got to do is uh, you mix the uh, the colors you want. So let's say we want red, we just put the red up like that. And of course, this is black, which is depth of colors. And like all of them together, like all the way over, is white. Right? So pull them all the way over, even past the end here, and that you get white as your color. But we want let's just let's just do red for us. Oh, that's purple, kind of cool. So we'll go, we'll do purple. 
you turn on the pen, give it a size, let's just say around four, and then you just you go over the model and you just hold down the mouse and you can you can draw on you can draw right on to the into the area here. Create your sketches like that. Let's go to black. And we'll bring down the size here. Make it more illustrative. So we got two. Now we're gonna just uh, add like some pockets, maybe like that. And uh, the other thing you can do here, let's let's get some. We'll paint, we'll paint some fabric on. Actually, one thing I want to show you here about the paint, and I'll just do that quickly here. Is we're gonna go back to the to that purple color, I think, which was uh, this, this one. Yeah, okay, uh, the purple one. And we're gonna bring down the alpha to like quite a bit. And what that does is that the pen a lot bigger is that you can actually see through the color. You see what I mean? Uh, you can see the fabric beneath that. And if you want to do shading, you can, let's say we'll just do white shading, which means that we'll just lighten this side. And as you can see, because of the alpha, it uh, masks out the beneath. It actually might show up better here. I should bring up the alpha bit. Oh, that's too much white, maybe. So you can have the alpha down a bit. It's kind of cumulative. So let's, let's do uh, black on the other side. Like a thousand of colors. So. And if you play with these dials here, it's pretty easy to see how to change your colors. And uh, so we've got the alpha down quite a bit. So let's see how that looks. I think it's, a, you know, it's quite a bit darker. Let's bring it down some more. And we'll just, like I said, I'm just playing here. But these, you know, like uh, the Pantone fashion pens. This is kind of, you know, when I was when I had the studio and we were doing these designs and stuff. That was the first thing the uh, you know fashion illustrators wanted was uh, the pens that would give them the Pantone effect. So this does it digitally, so you can, you know, you can really start to create some interesting design effects just by painting here. Some more shaping. So it's a cool little paint program, which you can really create some amazing effects if you, you know, spend some time with it and paint on your fabric. So, like I said, you can just send this to your client. You can add different sizes of text. And oops, you got to turn. That's a good point. You got to turn off your pen when you're clicking around, like when you want to drag something, because it thinks you're drawing. So. That's why they, you can toggle off the pen. So that's a good thing that probably happened. So I can show you that. Now uh, let's just, uh, oh, we got to drag this guy out of the way here. As you can see, the stuff is still there. And we'll just drag that text over there. And we'll just, uh, as you can see, that's the that's the drawing area. And then that's the, uh, the model. So it's kind of very much like a paper doll effect you get here. And then uh, just to turn off the color, you can just do that. And start again, which uh, you know, of course, I probably with the way it looked, I would have done that. Because we'll turn the pen on and let's try this now. Yeah, see, that's a it's probably going to look a little better that way. Uh, Dark side up here. Get some get some shape in there. The basics of how to use the paint program and how you can quickly and easily create fashion fashion concepts with developed fabrics. Like if I just want to change this fabric here, I would just uh, do that. That looks kind of cool. That's pretty much the new features. If we just want to clear this, we'll just uh, clear that. We'll, we'll save this one. Let's put a two there. And save that because I kind of like the, those colors together. Yeah, hit save. In this tutorial, I want to show you the file structure of your design server. And this is a good way of backing up your files. And you can also take them from computer to computer. And inside your Pro 7 folder or your Diva folder, install folder, you'll see a folder called www. And inside that folder, there's another one called v. Inside v, we have our design pattern folders that we've created. To create a new folder, all you simply do is just, you can copy one. Let's say we want to copy a petware. And I'll just right click and drag and then go copy here and it will copy that folder 
And then we are then going to have a new design folder that we can work on and make changes, add fabrics, add models, do our sketches and drawings that we would like for that particular design set. And once I get into Runway, you'll see that uh, that folder will now appear. So here we are in the runway of that particular thumb drive. And if you don't have a thumb drive version, uh, you can install one as part of your license if you're a pro uh, designer, account user, and software user of Diva. Okay, so obviously uh, it won't show up here, but if I re reload that, I'll just show you here in the, in the bar here at the top, you can see, I'll just move down because I got, uh, we have these navigation buttons, and I'm seeing refresh, and that reloads the folder, and then that should show up. See, there's the petware copy. And if I load that, it loads the same way as petware would, but uh, any changes I make to any files, I'll click on that. So I can manage the files that are in that folder through the manager. Uh, I can digitize new new patterns into that set, and that will only be in Petware 2, which are the Petware copy we just created. And then, of course, you can go into the plotter, your illustrations and designs that you would like for that particular folder to be Petware project for one of your particular pets that you're working on. So you do the code or something, you could call this pet coat, and then uh, just make the patterns about that. And then later, you can share this folder with other designers. There's a lot. It's quite easy to create a folder. Now, you can also, if we go back to Runway here, you can also use this button here to copy the folder. It's just as easy to copy in the folder I find. But uh, it's the tools are there. And uh, that's pretty much all there is. You can then just go through your, your different uh, pattern envelopes that you have in that set. And that's how easy it is to use uh, Runway. So let's get back to go to the main pattern server uh, template here, which has our designs in it. And we're going to go in here. We're going to go into the plotter. And um, I just wanted to show you how to do some illustrations on a model that you've imported. And so we just got some drawings here. And I'm just going to pick this one here. And we have different types of models, just not uh, you know women models. Here's a a uh, a, a, a boy model and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do a little bit of fabric painting and illustration and what I think we're going to do is bring up the pen size here to two turn it on and I'm just going to draw finish the sketch here what I've done is I've just drawn in my my pants and my I guess a polo shirt the next thing to do is to uh, paint the fabrics on what you want to do first, though, of course, is turn off the pen because when you're not drawing it, it'll make lines all over the place. And then you know what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the fabrics. The way you do that is just uh, bring on up your fab fabric panel here, like so. Then just click on this red button, and it'll show these six panels here. And what you want to do is uh, for the for the bottom area, you want to pick one of the bottom ones because these these kind of form sheets. And depending how big your your image is, it will depend how much paint area you have. For the pants, we're going to select. We're going to select this box here, like that, and then and then we're going to get the denim paint here. I think uh, you click that the denim paint, and there's a little X there in the center. Uh, before you can paint, you want to get the dot there, and then you hold down the shift key. But what we're going to do is we're going to bring up the paintbrush to about five or six there, and holding down the shift key. Actually, you don't click. You just hold down the shift key, or you don't hold down the mouse. And then you just paint. And some jeans. And I got the pen sent at 6. You can see how big it is. You kind of want to get the size right. You know, once you get the outside, so you can go with a bigger pen to paint in. It takes a little practice, but uh, there. So we've got our, our jeans on, and then we're going to select the upper one here for the top part of them. Let's pick uh, let's get my fancy color for a shirt here. We look good in green, purple, yellow, red. Yeah, I think let's go with this red. Lumberjack plaid. 
what you want to do is you want to turn off the paint on the blue one because or it'll paint actually uh, wash the paint so we turn this one on and then we just hold down the shift key again and then just move the mouse around and it's actually see it paints under the line right so you get that illustrative effect and you just move to there I mean if I was if I you know wasn't rushing here to do the tutorial I'd probably have a smaller brush and just take my time you import your own fabrics and then you can paint this on like this this is just a JPEG image of a model and it could be easily a photograph of a client you're styling for so, And then, so there we got our shirt. Now you can actually add even shading, right? You know, if we make, if we bring the brush up here, let's try 12. You can see the size of the brush here. Now the alpha will bring it down to like a, a light gray. So turn the, turn the pens on. And then you can just sort of, yeah, you can do some shading. If you've done any fashion illustration with the pen tones, then you'll kind of, you know, you know the idea of using the pens to uh, you know, create shade and depth in your in your fashion drawings, right? So, I mean, if I wanted to go darker or lighter or whatever, I could do that. Just give it some some shape, some lighting, like so. Okay, so now we're going to send that to the client. What you do is just whatever you type in the top here is what gets sent in the in the email. So we'll go design for design for Jimmy. Okay. Then we just hit send. And there we go. That design is now off to the client or it's being saved as a part of our design illustrations that we want to present or put in our portfolio. Thanks for watching this tutorial and don't forget to visit us at designso.com. Diva Designer in Virtual Apparel Pattern Design Software by Design and Sew. Thanks and bye for now. See you on the runway. Thank you.